this is my favorite movie of last year. Um, it's not that many would be different. Um, I haven't watched it since I bought it. The, it's hard to watch, but it's smart my dad, so that makes sense. It's funny. It's like so like. We're just intense and sad and weird and your heart breaks, you get mad, you go through like every emotion really. Um, Sam Rockwell deserved his Oscar. I, I just, he's deserved an Oscar for multiple things, but he's just, he's, I've been a fan of his for a very long time. Probably since I saw Galaxy Quest in, I don't know if I saw it in theaters, but I saw it like right when it went on DVD or video then rented it and fell in love and he was epic and I've been a fan since I was like 11 maybe I don't, I don't remember when Galaxy Quest came out um Frances McDermott is just epic because she's Frances McDermott and she's epic and she's wonderful and she makes tape out of the eye Woody Harrelson is He's Woody Harrelson. He's so great. He did deserve it. I think. Yeah. Well, Michael Stobar probably could. Mm, a little bit more. For Shape of Water. Um, Peter Dinklage is in this movie with an epic mustache. And I hate mustaches. Like, truly. I don't really like them. But on some guys, it works. It's just so good. Um, oh, my brain is not working right now. Really? Lucas Hedges. Lucas Hedges is just, like, kid, like amazing. And since I saw him in, um, Moonrise Kingdom, that was the first thing I saw him in. And he's just gotten so much better and just breaking your heart. Manchester by the Sea was epic. He's so good in this. Uh, John Hawks, you want to punch him in his face. And I think he's a very handsome dude. But he just, he's so good if you want him to die. Um, Peter Dinklage, which I already said, is so adorable in the movie. He's so sweet. And like, you feel for him because like, he likes Francis. And Francis is just like, no. And he's all adorable. So it's cute. Um, sorry. Oh, God, I can't pronounce his name. He plays like a sergeant or whatever, and he's awesome in everything. And I'm gonna hold my phone up because I would butcher his name in one five of a fifth of a second. I don't know if you can see him. Oh, he can't flick my leg. Can't read it. Ugh. I'm gonna try to just sniff that word. Yeah, there you go. That guy. Wait, wrong way. Him. I can't pronounce his name, but he's awesome. I love him in um, Seven Psychopaths. So. Same word. Oh, there we go. Catherine Newton. Catherine Newton, who's also in Lady Bird, and she's in Supernatural. That's how I know her. From Supernatural. It's just a really good movie, and it's funny. Like something awful happens, or some very tense part, and then you're laughing. And that's Martin McDonough. And I love Martin McDonough movies. I love In Bruges, which I don't have to worry. I love Seven Seven Pats, which I am going to get. I love this movie. I have one of his plays, which we read in high school. Not to perform, but just for something. I can't remember exactly what. I'm just reading it, and I fell in love with it. It's wonderful, and. The community college um, in my area put it on three years ago, and I saw it twice because it was so good. I just, he's awesome. And people were like, Sam Rockwell plays a racist, blah, 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 and it's for, it's like letting him like redeem himself, and blah, 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 blah. And it, it's so much more than that. And it's Francis's movie. It's about a mother grieving, trying to find out what happened to her daughter. It's not about Sam Rockwell's re character's redemption. And he doesn't really get redempted. He's... 
lots of things out of him, and he's wonderful in it. And do I like his character? Not really. At all. So. But this, like, non-franchise, all that jazz. This is my favorite movie of last year. Check it out. It's great. And then you can actually freaking have a discussion instead of just reading online or watching a review or whatever.